everybody welcome to our YouTube video uh, I haven't shot one on YouTube for a while but uh, I figured we would talk about a little bit of things since I haven't been on here for a while uh, it's so important though to uh, be kind to people and be loving and I hope that's what a lot of people did over the 4th of July holiday that we just had yesterday and uh, you know it is our birthday because it was instituted by 72 men that helped write the Constitution of the United States living will document. And not only that, 55 of those people were true Christian people in character. They were real Christians. Uh, so, you know, you got to remember, we're the people that gave the government its power. We're the people that gave the government where it is today. It's not that the people have the power in us. It's not that the government has the power in us. No, it's the people that give the government its very powers that it holds. And always remember that true sovereignty, true sovereign, sovereignty or individual sovereignty emulates, it means comes from God, not from your government. So I put that on Facebook today. Uh, just as a reminder, because that's really where true sovereignty and peace and freedom come from, you know. And uh, there was a good ruling today and in, uh, in the courts saying that the Biden administration could not use big tech to surveillance on people who go against the agenda. So I wonder if that means YouTube is going to have to change your term and services because that was voted down. It was ruled against. So all the stuff they're doing with censorship through YouTube and Facebook and everywhere, they're going to have to redo their stuff because that was a victory for freedom of speech today or yesterday. Or July 4th is when this happened. Yeah, sure did. And uh, so I'm wondering, they're going to have to change your terms of service, it looks like. So we'll just have to see what YouTube does do, essentially, right? And, uh, you know, I hope everybody has a good day today. And I uh, wonder how that cocaine got in the White House. <laughs> you think Clinton might you, yeah, you, yeah, you think Clinton might have been over there smoking it with Biden? Who knows? Maybe Joe Biden was smoking it and he hid it there with the phones, or maybe some Secret Service agents were smoking it. I don't know. But I doubt it was the Secret Service agent, seriously. I think it was Biden, probably, because Hunter Biden has a history of smoking, you know, cocaine, so, and doing a lot of other things that are legal, like his daddy, which, um, you know, that's debatable. And, uh, you know, but I mean, he really shouldn't be in the White House, shouldn't have ever got in there, and yet he's under illusion he's going to run again. Well, I think that was, I think there was a way to plan it there, or maybe. He really is smoking, doing cocaine, and they're doing that to get him out of the White House so he doesn't run. Meanwhile, in Europe, and I guess you heard, they are actually uh, indicting the president in Europe so he can't run. Somebody over there in Europe that cannot run until 2030, and that's what they're trying to do to trumpet here in America. So he can't blow his trumpet in the White House. They're trying to do that, but so far that hasn't been very successful. And they keep trying to make up stuff on them as that witch hunt still continues to go at a fevery pitch as they are going crazy as usual with Democrats, the Democrats, and they are trying to uh, cause harm to our president. Ah, oh, so, you know, I'll say hi to all my subscribers, 63 subscribers. And uh, that video, uh, back to your nosy neighbor, I like to comment that somebody said I should do a series on the people and make a story out of that after I moved out of there to uh, show, uh, you know, you know, make a story out of that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot I could tell about that. Uh, whoever did that comment, uh, much appreciative much I appreciate that uh, and there is a lot that you could probably say about that nosy navy video to do a story out of that and just make up just change the names of the characters and the people we had it probably would be a good storyline in short because I've talked a lot about on YouTube anyway in the past 
uh, set aside with family since I haven't said nothing. I've said it on Facebook. You can see my live videos on Facebook. I do a lot more live posts there because it's not so restrictive like it is over here at YouTube, you know. You say something wrong or off color, then they censor you or demonetize you because, oh, you broke community rules or guidelines. Well, I, I'm not trying to break any rules. I'm just trying to speak freely. But it's like you can't because they don't want you to speak freely, you know. Um, it's, it's just uh, really uh, pretty crazy the way things are on YouTube. It's like every other month they have new guidelines or updated. It seems like every couple of months they are changing uh, the guidelines in their EULA. <laughs> so you can get on there. That's why I haven't put too much stuff on here. So we'll just have to see how this video goes. This is a test video to see what they do to my video. Everybody, I love you. I'm going to get off here because my battery is only like 20%. So I love you. Stay tuned. I'm still alive. I'm well. I'll say hi to Beth Ann and to Stephen, to uh, Jeremy, and, and also John. Big God. And I uh, hope everyone, the shills are doing okay and, and everybody else. Up there in Virginia, Mechanicsville. Uh, everybody have a good day. I love you and take care. This is, I'm signing off for now. And we'll do another video, hopefully longer, on another day. Uh, happy trails to you till we get on the air at YouTube again. So you can't get me for that because I didn't lip sync. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.